hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i just want to show you a very short video on how you can get 300 dollars credit free credit from aws it's free but there's a way to apply for this and i will tell you uh first thing if you are just learning aws services and you need uh, a platform to practice this credit is very good for you because with this you will be able to do a number of things that are not available on the free tier that's number one the second one is okay maybe you just have a small project and you want to host it on the cloud and test it and all with this you can be able to do most of those things you want to do so i'm going to show you the simple website that makes this possible so here's the website okay this is the website and this website is actually AWS, it's from AWS. And so the, the essence is to encourage you, you know, to come to the cloud and all. So let me show you the things you need to fill. You can see it is called AWS Proof of Concept Program. So it's a free $300 credit. But there's a way you have to apply. So you have to fill in this. For instance, here I just put for startup e-commerce application you see they want to know why you need this so you need to describe your project the project you're doing business for yours might be okay let's say to practice let's say to practice practice my my devops engineering program that might be the reason you need this so just put out a constructive uh, description of why you actually deserve this so you fill in this then there's this place project intent i'll advise that you choose proof of concept just leave all this i'll advise you choose this because this actually is in tandem with uh, the topic or the or the name of the you know credit aws proof of concept program so just choose proof of concept then here they're asking you implementation time frame how long is your program going to be okay you can see here there is seven to twelve months okay now let me tell you this this credit is supposed to last you for six months so now when you are now choosing any when you're telling aws that your program is between 7 to 12 months it doesn't justify it so i will advise you you choose either one to three months or you choose four to six months let it be between the range of six months so for the implementation uh, time frame then your budget here okay they want to know what's your budget per month so if for instance we've chosen one to three months and we have three, I mean, 300. So if I'm choosing that our budget is, you know, 500 to $1,000 per month, this doesn't justify this. Because what I'm saying is that my budget per month is even more than this. So I will advise you, choose something that justifies that, okay, this $300 credit can be able to do whatever you want to do within the time frame. So you could just choose... 50 to 99 dollar per month so here work type is asking okay what are you going to be doing in this program what is your your responsibility so maybe you could choose ai machine learning something maybe you could choose devops for instance if you say to practice my devops program so your workload might be devops so you want to practice things around devops so here after filling all this, this you see this place, your information is talking about. Now, uh, let me tell you this. Before you apply for this uh, uh, program, I will advise you that you have an AWS account that is already running for at least two weeks. I mean, the AWS account must have been activated. You are already using it because here they are asking you the details. And the details they are asking you here is the detail that had to do with your AWS account. So you have to fill in details of your AWS account, which is already running here. Your first name, the last name, everything you are putting here. 
has to be exactly what has to do with your AWS account because this credit will be attached to your AWS account. So what's the first thing you use in registering your account, your last name, the, I, the, the email that is attached to your working AWS account. Now, for every AWS account, there's always this 12-digit number. So you can always find it at the I think, top right corner. So pick up that digit, fill it in here. What's your job role? Maybe you are a developer, you are an engineer, you put it there. Okay, what's the, now this is a company information. What they're saying here is they want to know about... Uh, your program so you could put the company name of uh, whatever you want to do put the company name put the size you can just choose maybe between 1 to 19 employees then you put your phone number you select your country or region and that's it so when you're done with this you just click submit so between one week or two weeks you will get a confirmation email from AWS that you have been credited with this $300 and they will ask you to go check your AWS account. So once you get to your AWS account, just go to the billing. You will see a billing here. Just go to the billing dashboard. Go to, I think, uh, under uh, credit, you will see it there. And you will see the expiration period for that $300. So it's as simple as that. And with this, you will be able to do many things. I, I believe the essence of this is because AWS is trying to encourage everyone to come to the cloud. And I tell you, the cloud is sweet, so you need to really come to the cloud because there's a lot of advantage here. In my next video, I will be sharing some insights on AWS services and some uh, insight about cloud technology and DevOps engineering. So. Thank you for staying tuned. You see, it's as simple as this. I'm going to drop this link in the description of the video so that you can always click the link. Thank you.